two of uh, Take a Swing. Uh, today we have Ellen McConnell from um, Sydney, Australia of Aussie Rules football fame, uh, now a master coach developer. Uh, Ellen, I want to welcome you to uh, Take a Swing. That's the first time I've used that, used that sound effect. How, how, how did that sound? Uh, Ron, you're on fire. <laughs> <laughs> well, the premise, uh, as, as you know and listeners know, is that this is an opportunity for you to take a swing around a concept related to uh, coaching that's uh, near and dear to your heart. Um, uh, you're familiar with the coaching excellence framework that, uh, that, that I pulled together that you and I uh, talk through quite often. And I know that an area of interest for you is this concept of relationships and how that has real power in the work you do as a coach and now as a coach of develop, develop, developers. So tell me a little bit more about connectedness. So Ron, if we just go back one little step, um, you know, when you talk to coaches, um, sports lovers, if you like, they will inevitably gravitate to the technical and tactical space. Um, they might add something to the conversation or in the management space, particularly if it's annoying them. Um, yeah, sure. Uh, um, but in the end, I think um, you can have the best tactics, the best uh, strategy, the best management team, the best people. But unless there's a level of connectedness, um, mastery or the pursuit of mastery is just impossible to achieve. And yeah. so for me, the, the one thing that uh, overpins high performance and, and doing wonderful things is, is, um, is the concept of connectedness. Yeah. which is for me about people and relationships. But, but there's still, and, I, and I've got a couple of, of photos that I'm, I'm going to share here. Ones of you being pretty stern, pretty uh, direct with an, with an athlete. That's, uh, you know, angry, Alan. Uh, and then there's another one that clearly shows your connection to uh, a, a group of athletes. So there's, is, is there a yin and a yang between, between those things, Alan? Uh I think the angry Alan was just a bad angle at the time, Ron, to be honest. But um, <laughs> um, no, look, I, I think authenticity is is key to connectedness. Um, like if connectedness is just about being nice to people, about, you know, warm and fuzzy relationships, um, then it's actually not really connectedness. It's actually um, being warm and fuzzy. And, and yeah. warm and fuzzy doesn't lead to um, edginess, which is, what comes with trying to do things in an exceptional way. Yeah. And so um, for me, connectedness has a level of accountability, um, but it also has a level, you know, a, an element of empathy. So that capacity to flip between the two, to be able to challenge and, and, uh, and cuddle, I guess, maybe even all in all, almost the same moment um, yeah. is, is pivotal to um, bringing people together to having a common force, if you like, you know, everybody's shoulders to the same wheel um, that leads to the capacity to have, you know, great strategies and, and um, you know, skill um, become a unified force to, to achieve great things. And if you, as you do in your job uh, in Australia, working with young aspiring Olympic Paralympic coaches, what do you say to a young person who's maybe struggling with the complexity of today's athlete. We hear that quite a bit that, you know, these athletes are different. They, they don't, maybe they're harder to build a relationship with. What would your advice be to somebody who's maybe struggling a little bit uh, in that area? Yeah, I'd say that's probably true that there, the, the world has become more complex that they, we, we, in Western civilization, we have a sort of a, an education system. That's a little bit like every child, child wins a prize these days. And so therefore telling people, that they need to do things better or differently um, can be perceived as in its in the worst form bullying. And so, um, and as coaches, that's our job. Our job is to find the edge and to do things, um, you know, that lead to greatness. And so, um, the capacity to um, work in that space, I think, fundamentally comes down to being really comfortable in your own skin first. So, what I'd say to our, uh, what I say to young our young coaches, first and foremost, is get your house in order. Understand who you are. Be clear about what's important to you. And off the back of that, the ability to challenge others becomes simpler. Yeah.
So maybe some connectedness with ourself first, uh, using the connected with this word uh, as you have so wonderfully here today. So, uh, Alan, the, the, the folks have spoken. They're thrilled with uh, what you've delivered here, and, and thanks for taking a swing at a really important topic. Ron, you become an IT genius. <laughs> thanks.